In this video, we're going to go over the questions from the worksheet for section 5.3. There's seven. So let's get started with number one on the top left here. And the question asks us, is this a proportion? And can someone tell me, how would I go about finding out if this is a proportion or not? Well, if you said cross multiply them and find the cross product, that's exactly what I would do. And you cross multiply top with bottom. So here I have a top, here I have a bottom. So that's one set of cross products. Here I have a top, here I have a bottom. That's another set of cross products. And then you multiply your cross products. So it's six times 24. And it's 12 times 12. All right. Can someone tell me what's 6 times 24 and what is 12 times 12? In both cases, it's 144. So are, is this a proportion? Are the two ratios proportional? They are. If they equal out, that means they're equivalent ratios, that means they're in proportion. So I'm just going to put a check mark here, but you can also write down they're in proportion or the, the two ratios are proportional. Questions on number one. Then let's take a look at number two, which is on the upper right corner right here. And what would I do there first? First step. Just like in the previous problem, I would cross multiply to find my cross products. Top to bottom. That's one set. Top to bottom. That's another set. So 5 and 15, 7 and 10 are my two sets of cross products. So I'm going to write them up. It doesn't matter which one goes first. 7 and 10 can go here. And then 5 and 15 can go on the other side. All right. So what's 7 times 10 and what's 5 times 15? Well, 7 times 10 is 70. And 5 times 15, that's 75. Are these two ratios proportional? Do we have a proportion? We do not. 70 is not 75, which means 5 over 7 is not equivalent to 10 over 15. And since proportions have two equivalent ratios, this is not a proportion. So no. And here should have been yes. Questions on number two? All right. All right, let's take a look at number three, which is on the left side here. I'm asked to solve the proportion. What would I do first? You solve it just like any other proportion. You cross multiply and you find the cross products. These two, top, bottom. These two, top, bottom. Next, I'm going to write up my cross products. So the first set, let's say 24 times 14. And the second set is m times 8. Or 8 times m, doesn't really matter. And what's 24 times 14, anyone? And what's 8 times m? Well, 24 times 14 is 336, if my math is correct. And 8 times m is just 8m. What do I do next? 
I divide both sides by 8, of course. And finally, what's 336 divided by 8? If you said 42, you're absolutely correct. So M is 42. That's our final answer. It's not so bad. Questions on number three? All right, now let's take a look at number four here. Number four asks us to write the second ratio for this proportion and then check our work. So they're telling us that this has to be in proportion, but they only give us one half. So what can I do? How can I find the other half? Well, don't forget that proportions, by definition, are a comparison or an equation that has two equivalent ratios. They have to be equivalent. So if I have a ratio here, on the other side, I have to have an equivalent ratio. And if you remember from the previous section, I taught you how to find equivalent ratios. How can I, how can I find equivalent ratios to 8 over 4? You can either double both the numerator and the denominator, or you can reduce it uh, by halving it, or even a different combination. For me, I'm going to go ahead and half it. So I'm going to divide both the top and the bottom by 2. And that's going to give me another equivalent ratio. So what I'm going to say is if I divide this by 2 and I divide this by 2, I'm going to get 4 over 2. And these two are equivalent. I know this because of the last section. But we're asked to check our work. No problem. How can I check my work? Cross multiply. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply 8 times 2 and then 4 times 4. If everything works out, we should have the same thing on both sides. And do we? We do indeed. 16 equals to 16. So we just checked our work. And that's that. Questions number four. All right. All right, then let's take a look at number five next. Number five says, and I'll read it out loud, what does it mean if the cross products are not equal? Ignore the squiggly here. So what does it mean if the cross products are not equal? Can someone tell me? Well, to me, if the cross products are not equal, that means the ratio is not in proportion. So if cross products are not equal, then there is no proportion. And you can also say, and ratios are not equivalent. A bit lengthy, but it definitely drives the point home. The, product, if pro, the cross products are not equal, then there's no proportion here. The ratios are not proportional or they're not equivalent. Questions on number five? All right, let's take a look at number six then. Number six, and I'll read it out loud, says a 12 pound weight is placed eight inches away from the center of the scale. At what distance must an 18 pound weight be placed to maintain a balance. 
So essentially, this is what they're asking us. I have visualized it. You have a scale, you have a 12 pound weight on one edge, and the scale is balanced. And that weight is 8 inches away. They're saying if you were to put an 18 inch weight on that scale, what should be the distance from the center of the scale for the balance to maintain? How can I find this? What can I do next? Well, if you said make a proportion to find the missing side, I would totally agree with you. And how can I make this proportion? Well, let's say I can write 12 over 8 for the weight to the length ratio. And it's equivalent to this right here. The weight is 18. But the length is unknown, so I'm going to write an X for an unknown. You can use any other letter, I just like X, it's very generic. So I'm looking for the missing length. What do I do next? I solve the proportion by cross multiplying. This with this, and this with this. Those are my cross products. All right. Let's go ahead and multiply them across. So it's going to be 8 times 18 equals to 12 times x. And can someone tell me what is 18 times 8, sorry, 8 times 18 and what is 12 times x? Hundred forty four equals to twelve X. That's what you should have gotten. I'm going to continue working right here, so I'll rewrite it. And what do I do next? If you said divide both sides by twelve, I totally agree with you. Oops, sorry. So what is my missing length? Just 12. So if the weight is 18 inches away from the, the scale, sorry, if, the, if we have an 18 pound weight, it has to be 12 inches away from the scale. It kind of makes sense. Weight goes up, the distance goes up, and if you were to do the math, the weight went up by 50%. And so did the distance, because proportions have to be maintained. Any questions on number six? All right, let's do the last problem, number seven. All right, number seven, and I'm going to read it out loud. It says, an after-school club had 10 girls and 15 boys. Five more girls and six boys joined the club. Did the boy girl show uh, sorry did the boy girl ratio change all right okay so how would I start this problem how would I start this problem well I would start this problem by first writing the original girl to boy ratio so we had 10 girls using pink for girls and we had 12 boys so original ratio was 10 girls to 12 boys what's my new ratio after the extra group of kids came in well my new ratio is five more girls so 10 plus 5 is 15 girls and six boys came in and 12 plus 6 is 18 and now I have 18 boys so what they're asking us is the ratio maintained 
Are they still proportional to each other? How can I figure this out? By cross multiplying. So let's get my cross products. Top and bottom. 12 times 15. Equals to 10 times 18. All right, and can someone help me out and tell me what's 12 times 15 and what's 10 times 18? It's 180 for both, isn't it? So, did the ratio change? You can confidently say that the ratio did not change. So the ratio did not change. Even though you have more boys and girls, the ratio of boys to girls is maintained here. Questions on number seven? All right, thank you. Signing off.